I was shaking. I was crying so terribly. The nurse was like, calm down. I was just like, what have I done to myself? The injuries are too graphic to show, but the images offer a blurry look at the price of pretty. October 2022, Shantia Cooley saw injections for the perfect bum. The 49-year-old did not want it bigger, just smoother. Would this help me with the cellulite? Injecting it here? After the procedure, not only was she still left with the cellulite, but the mom had issues much worse. My mom, she just recently had surgery on her butt, and it looks infected, and she can't walk or anything. Medical records detail Piedmont Henry doctors found sepsis in her bloodstream. Sepsis can lead to organ failure and death. Shantia recalls the doctor determined the cause, but injections gone wrong. They kept me, I stayed in the hospital for a week, actually. Texan payment plans confirm she got the procedure done by Von Seal Daniel at Chaotic Von Beauty Bar. The College Park business advertises medical procedures from bum fillers to lipo. But according to state records, the business and its owner have no medical license. So I guess that explains why I ended up in the hospital. In Georgia, it is a felony crime to perform unlicensed medical work. Adding insult, board licensed plastic surgeon Dr. Narav Patel explains Peel Pack label has an expiration date. In order to even get these FDA approved injectables, you have to be credentialed, meaning unlicensed workers often rely on black market or altered product. Shantia believes she was getting hyaluronic acid filler in her bum. Dr. Patel argues Clearly it's unlikely. You know, it's a combination of blood, possibly pus or like infected fluid. Um, so that's not normal at all, the typical inflammation that one mounts um, when you have fake stuff injected. Data from the National Institute of Health illustrates a 25% death rate and a 50% hospitalization rate for injection injuries by unlicensed providers. But the agency notes the number is likely significantly underreported. After Atlanta News First started asking questions, the Georgia Medical Composite Board open an investigation. As a regulatory agency, it typically suspends or revokes licenses, but enforcement gets complicated when a facility does not have a medical license to begin with, like the case of Chaotic Von Beauty, where allegations remain twofold. The owner offers the medical services here locally, while also offering sessions across the country to train others. When we reached out to Von Seal Daniel about the allegations, the owner's only reply, can you provide the names of the consumers? Miss Vaughn? After she stopped responding, we showed up to the business. It appeared empty inside. So we called. Uh, well, we want to talk to Miss Von Seal because there's no record that she has a medical license, yet she's offering medical services. Is this Miss Von Seal? Which service is that? Yes, which service are you speaking on? The butt injections. Okay, so we do have nurses on, 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 on staff, and we also, um, I have a vitamin license, and I also am an esthetician. What is the issue, ma'am? Where are you licensed at? Where are these licenses coming from? Are they in the state of Georgia? What states? Um, we're cur I'm currently Florida licensed, but we're getting everything transferred now. We you and yourself. Which client, and my lawyer, my lawyer told me to ask you which clients, because all of our clients have NDA forms, and they also waive their rights and all that good stuff there. So which client are you speaking on? I'm confused. You say your clients have NDAs and they waive all their rights to get procedures from you? Well, we told her she needed an actual medical license to perform this work. She claimed she had nurses on staff. Atlanta News First found no documentation to substantiate any of it. Okay, well, she hung up. As for Shantia, she cautions others to do what she did not. Be aware and be careful and um, do your research a little bit more like I maybe should have did.